It's been 15 years since the FCC looked into cell phone radiation, but now with more powerful phones and much younger users, the Commission is taking its first steps to reevaluate safety standards. The United States has the most conservative emissions standards in the world. Our action today is a routine review of our standards. We hope and expect that other federal agencies and organizations with whom we work on this issue will participate in the process. One of the main health concerns that's part of this revisited issue is for the youngest of cell phone users. The Washington Post explains. The World Health Organization panel said particular concern is the use of cell phones by children who spend more time than ever with the devices pressed against their ears or in their pockets. Their skulls are thinner than those of adults and absorb radio frequencies at higher rates. So far, the FCC's initial steps toward an investigation have not seen any combatants. Even the cell phone industry's lobby group CTIA has said it will work with the FCC. Like The Verge, most commentators aren't making a huge fuss. It sounds like a review at this point is reasonable. The last time the FCC updated its guidelines, which set maximum radiation exposure levels, was back in 1996. And mobile phone technology, as well as usage frequency, has changed dramatically since then. Even though the FCC hasn't touched this issue in a while, other groups have. So far, though, there have been no definitive results, and the examiner believes an FCC investigation may not be decisive either. While the FCC's five commissioners are expected to approve the inquiry, it's unclear how long the study will take. It's also not clear that any such study will be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that cell phone radiation does or does not cause any sort of illness. Apple, for one, is playing it safe. It recommends the iPhone be held at least five-eighths of an inch, that's one and a half centimeters, from your head. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne, Multiple Sources, The Real Story.